Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. So this bad boy arrived yesterday, the CPL filter. Now it says for the action four, but it is technically, it fits both. And what I did not realize, it actually replaces your original lens cap. So that's the original right there. You are in this, you have the CPL on there. So is KNF same as uh, what I have on you can see yourselves. Cool. Um, same as I have on this guy here. Except it doesn't have the orange. I wish it had the orange because I think that looks really cool. But, uh, all right, you guys are all CPL'd. Um, it is freezing out again. It is uh, 32, so zero degrees Celsius. Oh, it's, uh, it's cold. And I gotta get these doggies out. I um, made the mistake of setting a second alarm and slept 30 minutes past it. So it is already quarter after five. And I gotta leave here in 30 minutes. There is nothing left to eat in this house. And I don't know what I'm... I mean, I snacked on the stuff that the manager brought. What is going on with my internet? Besides the fact that Bill's not paid. <laughs> oh, oh, that just okay. out too many times. It felt like yeah, I, I don't I don't think that chest mounts for me. I don't know. It just I, I probably because I was trying to set it up in such a precarious area of the trail, but I needed I needed both hands to get out of there. To be honest with you, that drop off was pretty severe. I had to pick both dogs up to get them out of there. Um, I mean there might be use cases for it, but it just felt like it was not really what I wanted. Tim even mentioned like the hat mounts and stuff. I had them in the past, but I think they all got sold with all my GoPro stuff with Mike because I never used them. So with this, I probably would, but oh well, no biggie. All right, get puppy dogs out and get us rolling because it's, uh, it's getting late here, but good morning everybody and uh, happy Monday. Six to one. Let's see how the day goes. All right, and good news is the um, for Jordan has actually cleared customs and left New York, so it's supposed to be here tomorrow, I believe, um, via DHL. So I, I don't know really what I did if I cleared it or if it just cleared itself because I did go in there and put in the zip code twice on two different devices, did it on the iPad and did it on the iPhone because it was still showing up that it was on hold. And this morning it's released. Well, last night it actually showed that it was released, so that's good. The sad part is those damn doors aren't coming till 14th of freaking November. So I got, what, over two weeks left until I have this guy waterproofed again. So hopefully we don't have any wet weather, because, I, I mean, I don't know what I'll do. I'll have to use the iPhone, I guess. So, I don't know, I think I'm just going to put them on the patio at this point, because we're running low on time and my belly's giving me some... Uh, issues. Alrighty, haven't tested Super Night video out on this thing. I know this isn't going to be the greatest. Because I'm just letting them out on the patio to go potty. Let's try to get a general idea real quick. That light's going to come on and screw it all up. And in my normal 4K60 Rocksteady Plus profile. Sisters are already going pee, dude. You gotta go potty, man. Come on, you gotta get in your crate. Come on, go potty. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's really not that bad out here being 32 degrees. It doesn't feel that cold. No. Maybe it's all my time in the freezer, in, which I'll be in the cooler in the freezer again this morning, so. But. Oh, should have gone to bed a little bit earlier, but at least it was nice. The video was exported, all I had to do was upload it. It uploaded really quick, and then, uh, yeah, so you guys already have yesterday's video, which not much after the big adventure, so I like doing that where it's a much more manageable, you know, vlog after a hour video the day before. That way, uh, <laughs> it's not so overwhelming. All right, so we had the magical Parmesan cheese, and away she goes. <laughs> Puppies eating. Yeah, I didn't even get to mention it, but when we got home Sunday or Saturday, we lost one of the birds, the other white one that I'd gotten in Sealand's Grove a long time ago now. 
because the other one I had gotten, that one passed away. Juliet, she passed away a really long time ago. We didn't have her very long at all, but so we're down to six parakeets and two lovebirds now. Slowly dwindling the birdies out. And uh, this is it. Unfortunately, I'm in green light because my dumbass hit the button and I got to go through all the freaking modes. So you got green, you got blue, you got red, got another blue, like a lighter blue, yellow, purple, teal, blinking, and then you got strobes, in all the colors, as well as flashing, should be getting back there, hope no one's getting, there we go. Hope no one's getting uh, <laughs> messed up from that. So, okay, got to give them their dental treat, get them in their crates, and it is 40 after. Got to get going. All right, crate, crate, let's go. Let me switch you back over to night mode. Yeah, now, super night, unfortunately, I'm going to go into light, so this is really not a good test. Woof, 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 woof. You want your, you want your, you want your treat? Okay. All right, so I'm going to stay in super. I'm going to actually use this in the car as much as I don't like doing that. I'm using the drone light so I can see the damn door lock so we're not using the keeping the outside light on the whole day. All right, that worked out nicely. And then powering off. Uh, yeah, Terry is thinking Halloween we're going to actually turn this off so people don't come knocking on the door because that'll just cause chaos. The pumpkin did light up pretty good. Looks pretty decent. Alrighty, we are rolling out. I'm going to be honest with you, with having the overhead lights on, I'm not sure if that's a bad idea. Because I don't know if there's enough light in here. Let's just turn them off. Yeah, I can't see myself, so I think that's maybe one of them. Maybe that would be okay. I don't know. I can't focus much on you guys right now. I want to get T-Bone coming out of here. Even though it's really early in the morning. Oh, I'm running right on time. I don't know. Honestly, I have not opened this associate in a long time so hopefully gets there We've got a couple of them that are just a little lax on showing up on time right. and I'm not allowed to be in the store by myself so yeah alrighty I'm gonna put this thing away so I can focus on driving and I will catch you guys after work uh, no plans on doing anything maybe taking a nap because I don't feel like I slept that great um, I, I did. I slept like a log. I just, I woke up and I'm like, oh man, that was not enough sleep. <laughs> we'll see, but it would probably just be puppy walks at home today. And it looks like the Action 5 has beat out the Pocket 3 because I'm like, no, I'm not going to take both. I'm just going to take this. Oh, eh, eh, this is what happens. New camera comes in and takes over the vlog. Oh, it is a beautiful day. I think we might need to go to the park. It's like sub 60. And sunny and beautiful. If I can catch both dogs, that's the problem. I can have all the intentions in the world to take them to the park and Mateo doesn't come to me and guess what? That means we can't go to the park. That's where the problem lies. It's the little dog, not me. Okay, sometimes it's me I wanna lay down, which I do wanna lay down, but I think if I have a cup of coffee, I'll be fine. All right, just for safety's sake. Let's see if anybody decides to run the red light today. <laughs> I really wish they'd get these new lights working. I don't know what they're waiting on. I guess it's not supposed to go through until next year sometime, so. All right, that guy's turning the other way. We'll just have to wait and see here. All right, Kurt, I guess you should put your turn signals on. Forgot to signal that I was turning left. He thought I was coming straight across. Whoops, I'm bad. Okay, yeah, look at this beautiful day. I don't want to waste this. Mateo, for God love, please come to me, buddy. So we can get out, go to the park, and sniff some fresh fall air. I got that tree the other way the other day, but it's kind of interesting looking. <laughs> oh yeah, funny story. So the whole time that we were up at the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, Tim had like no problems with the microphone connecting. I let him borrow one of the microphones so because it was so windy. And um, yeah, not one problem connecting to the action for it. Now there's been, I think there was an update on that camera since. I mean, it's still not as snappy as the five, but it felt like it was actually working quicker than the full than the pocket three. Kind of debating if I want to pull that out today. I haven't run the pocket in a while. 
but I don't know. I just feel like the clarity on the five is is better actually. Uh, eh, a little bit of leaves still through here. Still a little bit of autumn color. I don't know what the park will look like. Probably a lot of bare trees, but then there might be some that hadn't changed over. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I knew going up Saturday, I was not expecting to see as many leaves as I did, to be honest with you. Some of those areas, just that and that, well, we actually have the, oh, that's right, we do have the anti-reflectant lens on there now. So the, it's even better through the windshield. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, how convenient. And I got a freaking delivery van pushing me down the road. And check and see where DHL is because uh, it says tomorrow though for the for Jordan. Well, he was in bed, so I was able to grab him before he jumped off and ran underneath. So got the puppers, got the puppers. So quick cup of coffee, and then we I'm gonna go to the park. The bean, maybe a lightweight hoodie because it's a little breezy out. Really curious to see how this lens works for me today. I'm not gonna don't plan on going near water. Mm. Now I'm thinking river walk too. Obviously, I cannot stick the camera in the river today. <laughs> That's a no-no for another like three weeks. Alrighty guys. Well, surprise, surprise. The Fort Jordan has delivered. After it was on hold yesterday and supposed to be here tomorrow. It was out for delivery when I got when I left work. So that is the camera grip. It's a shutter button and this should be the MagSafe. Um, so the packaging I'm going to say is uh, very green. <laughs> oh, okay, get another little piece. So yeah, that's the MagSafe. Hmm. That's a piece of plastic. All right, let's pull the iPhone out here and see what she does. I get this guy here is adjustable. It needs tightened. That's like a thumb rest. Hmm, this could be interesting. This could actually be interesting. And the reason I went with this design, but I don't know. Someone did mention the MagSafe on it was not the best. And I think they're right. I mean, it, it's holding. But it does wiggle. I mean, you can, you're can you supposed to be able to do landscape or portrait shots. Same with the, the shift cam. So yes, now I have another device that I can... And it does have a quarter 20. I don't know how much I'd trust that. that mm, I guess. I guess. We'll, we're going to try it at the park. We're going to go and get Tim's screwdriver kit out here quick. He got me for Christmas for the Vision Center. And I told him, I said, yeah, it's coming in handy. This guy here. I mean, I've got tweezers. I've got, I don't know what that really is, like a little pick type thing. But you've got bits for days. It was funny because none of the girls in the Vision Center would use it because they didn't know how to get the handle out. Ta-da! So I need a little Phillips head. Those look really small. This thing does come in handy for, cause it's basically for, I think it's listed for electronics, but it works with glasses too. Gives you all the different ones. You know, this piece here is adjustable for the different size phones. So. Oh, that's not a Phillips. That's actually like a star. Whoops. There's a cold shoe that goes on there too, I think. But I don't even know if I need that. All right. So that's the mount. Pretty sure this is the cold shoe. Oh no, that's a screwdriver with extra screws. Nice, nice. And yeah, cold shoe that you can put on it. Not, oh, that's probably what that's for. To, mm, I don't know how they... I don't know where that would screw in at. Oh, that just slides into here. Yeah, it's kind of unusual. 
that just slides into there but they do give you extra screws for the thumb holder that's you know what that's going to give you a pretty decent tread but yeah that doesn't need to be on there i didn't put the cold shoe on the um shift cam either we'll lock that down better here in a minute all right let's get to the main event here <clears throat> get out my new these are the turbo ones i don't even know if i showed them these guys are nice and those carbon blades oh my god if you're gonna if you're looking for a long lasting blade fast cars carbon ones those carbon tipped oh those things stay sharp you can cut freaking thick boxes with them again the packaging is very green I'll we'll have to see if I can get connected because the one thing I did see was I was looking to see if this was like a fraud because it hadn't shipped and hadn't shipped and uh, people were like it takes forever for it to ship no customer support now I can say that they have responded to me every time I asked them a question so that's basically wow that is tiny that is so tiny but you you have zoom levers with the app you can also switch it over to like ISO and whatnot. You got different buttons and you got zoom lever. That's the zoom lever. And these are like for your ISO. So I can actually do zoom shots with the app as, uh, supposed to. And this kind of can flex too. I think it can be used as a kickstand or something. And it locks into the back plate I just pulled. All right, let's pull that out. So the battery is on. That thing is tiny. My goodness, that's so tiny. Yeah, people are like, the cases, don't buy the cases. The cases are junk. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay, push the button. And, uh, uh, mm, boy, I don't know. I'm a little concerned with the, but it, it, I mean, it's easy enough to take off your phone and then you want to, you know, you want to do something. You can, you know, with the MagSafe, you can just pop it back on quick. All right. Now, one of the other issues people were saying they had problems with was getting it to connect to their phone. Of course, some people don't understand what they're doing, too. Settings, Bluetooth for Jordan. And then pairing unsuccessful. Make sure the grip is turned on and in range and ready to pair. Um... Well, it saw it, so how is it not on? I don't even know if there's any LEDs on this thing. There was one when I pulled it out, pulled the thing out of the battery. Is it seeing it now? Nope. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, there it is. Showing up for Jordan at the bottom. Oh, boy. All right, give me a minute. So while I'm waiting on that, that is actually a plate that you can use on like an Android phone, but they don't make an Android app. And I'm not sure what this thing is. I'm not really sure what that's for. There's really no instructions in there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use the app to connect it, maybe. Maybe that's what I need to do. Sometimes you have to use the app. So let's try the... For Jordan app, Let's see if it sees it. Get started. For Jordan camera app is advanced. Da, 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 da. Go through the photo library camera. Continue. Connect to my For Jordan. Allow For Jordan Bluetooth devices. Allow. Oh, that might be why. Uh, enter serial number. Identify your grip. Hmm. Ta-da! That's what we weren't doing. Press and hold the shutter button and function button for five seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It took me to their website. Plus, 
pair. Got it. Your grip is ready to shoot. And yes, we're going to register it. Well, that gives you a little tip, guys, if you're ever having trouble connecting a device. Um, and if that device has an app, sometimes it's required to use that. And now I have the For Jordan app. Yeah, that's really weird, though. You can't use that app without the grip. So I should be able to zoom, and I can. Oh. We'll have to wait. Does this do video? I don't know if it does video, though. Embed location, mirror front camera, new format and quality, 48 megapixel, pro raw, smart processing manual mode, high. Zoom in manual mode, shutter half press. Pressing on screen shutter will lock the focus and exposure release will capture the photo. Okay. Level indicator. Hmm. A lot of little things in there. That is for sure. So I guess that's, I thought, hmm. Yeah, there's allow full access, open settings. Jordan, full access location while using, yes. Okay, let's just go into the native camera once. And it works. Does the zoom work? Nope, of course it doesn't. That would be nice. That would be nice if that would actually work. All right, let's go back in. So there's the, the Leica Lux and the For Jordan app that they came out with. Now, this kind of ticked me off because there's a this works really nice, but you have to pay for most of the modes. I think I don't know. Maybe I don't now. Oh, I can actually change my aperture now. Interesting. Yeah, see, there's still pro modes. And if to upgrade to pro, it's a. Two weeks free, $70 a year. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right. Well, we're going to play with this a little bit at the park, too, probably. Looks like it's only going to work, though, f um, for photo in that app. I thought it did video as well, but I'll have to look and see. All right. Well, I've also mounted the suction now in Terry's car with the action. I'm going to be a little far away, but I was over closer to me and it was catching too much of the, of the steering wheel. I felt like it's still catching quite a bit of it, but, uh, I got the uh, big mirror put back up, which was a fun little task, uh, carpet tape and some rubber bands just to make sure it's not going to fly off there and hit me. Ugh, what is on my lens. All right. Dogs are getting a little stir crazy. We need to stop and get gas too at this, at some point on this little adventure. All right, so right now that's facing me. I have you on the cool head and I can bring you around for drive and lock you. It's a little off, but I mean, I'm getting a little more dash than I prefer to. Um, I have to bring the whole mount forward because right now it's actually hitting. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, with the action camera, you're just, you're gonna catch more because it's got the wider. Now I gotta be careful because if I try to turn the opposite direction with this cool head, it's unscrewing the damn the cool head from the GoPro or the quarter twenty mount. That's a little bit better. I mean, again, it's more more interior of the car than I would prefer, but yeah, you know, this is just kind of the run around car. All right, let's go to the park. 
They are paving General Dollar Market's parking lot. Yeah, it's gonna be a General Dollar Market. All right. Let's see how this bad boy kind of works. Actually, I was able to go the other way. I got that tightened up pretty good to it, I think. It'll loosen up later on. Just want to do a little bit of a dry video with it. All right, Burger King got free Whopper with our Walmart Plus. Signed everything into uh, her account. I had to buy a penny's worth of something and a Hershey's chocolate pie. It sounded really good for $2.69. So that's my treat. No more. Got to stop and get gas in this bad boy then. But we're going to do that after the park. Part of me is thinking maybe hit the river walk. But I want to see if the trees this outside are changing it anymore. So the other thing I did change is uh, I have put the entire the entire DJI Mic 2 kit. That's all back together by itself. I am using the white mic on the Action 5 and I'm going to use the original Pocket 3 mic on the Pocket. So, because I only have two cameras now, I don't need, you know, I can plug those other ones into the iPhone if I want to use it. Don't think I can plug it in though with the Forge Jordan. I don't think that'll work. I don't think I'm saying that right either, but whatever. That's how it's spelled. It's for for Juden, so Forden. I don't know Forden. I think it's actually Forden. But we'll see how it works out. I mean, so far the thing is it's weird though. You have to like underneath the one setting it gives you for video, photo, manual, all that good stuff. So going to have to play around with the app a little bit and see how it works. I thought when you got the Ford, well, I thought you got the, whatchamacallit, the Leica Pro for free, but apparently not. No way. Okay, you wascally webbits. Let's get moving here. Dogs are like, we've been ready. I don't know what you've been doing. I've been eating a Whopper. Come on, Priya, get out. They struggle getting out of her car more. I think this, this kind of cuts in more and Priya struggles with it. Mateo, he's, uh, I think he's feeling Sunday pretty hard. All right, we're going to make laps here and try to see leaves and uh, keep the nonsense to a minimum. Not very colorful, more brown. That's kind of neat. It's got like purplish leaves. It's a neat little mix. Eh, a little faded. Still pretty. And a lot of brown. And bear trees. This has been going on for over two minutes now. I don't know what she's doing, but she's enjoying smelling leaves. She's an autumn dog too. I'm surprised she didn't freak out that leaf hit her. As much as she's scared of everything. Very. I did watch back part of the video this morning. Um. Be very curious to see how this lens works. Wow, that's like dark, dark right now. It's almost like transitioned. Oh no, it's my it's my glasses. Oh, the po oh polarized to polarize, it makes it like look like it's black. It's really not a sunglass. It's more of just for glare. Uh, circular polarized, which polarized lenses. So ooh, a little bit of color. Maybe a pretty screen grab if I remember. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I don't have to remember to screen grab it, and although it won't be 16 by 9, and you'll see the photo. I am happy with the photos from this thing for most of the part, too. They're very, very, very punchy. I like that. So, Priya's not happy now, because we are on the path and we are walking. <sighs> so what's the game plan here? Okay, so we're going to do the park. 
the entire park. Just make sure we didn't miss any trees because we got our good ones coming up over here. Looks like looks like that one that was partly changing the other day is a little more so. The one looks like it's bare and the other one's damn near there. Uh, so then we're going to run to Montorzil, fill her car with gas, come back up, spin around at Maynard Street, go to the river walk real quick. I don't think I'm taking them out of the car. I think I'm just going to do a quick little little run by myself. Um, I really can't get down to the water anywhere close by there. So I don't even know if it's really worth stopping. I just want to see if the glare is any better, but I'm not going to get close because I'm not walking all the way up to Maynard Street. So that's just too much to leave them in the car and it's too much to drag them along that far again. Uh, more of a yellowish. Still pretty. Yeah, we're getting... This wind is going to make them fall off real fast. If we got any rain, oh, they'd be gone. You know, that one out there in the distance is what I'm seeing. We got this one here. What's going on down there, huh? Come on, don't be putting your butt in the camera lens. That's all we're doing. So all we want to do is sniff these leaves. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find a place to piddle. It was the mountains already bare. It like just was turning color and then boom gone it's a little breezy out today too that one hasn't done anything that one the very tippy top is changing oh this one's getting berries again finally this one's been kind of mute all freaking year long huh interesting Ooh, we got some color there mateo's crossing over on me it's a peon tree This is one of the things I really truly love, love about the action is the fact that I'm right underneath it to get the whole thing and you wouldn't be able to otherwise. A little bit at the top there is going red. And these ones here, I don't think these change color. They just pff, lose all their leaves. But they're really, because all the branches are just sticking up. I always think those trees are fascinating, especially when they're actually bare. They look really weird. This guy here is good. All right. Dogs are now waiting on me for once today. Look at the wind though. I did, I'm hoping I didn't overdo the mic. I did put it on a plus two, cause it was on a minus. I hope I didn't do that wrong. Cause I think this one was set differently. And it goes by what camera you set it with, which would have been the pocket. So yeah, I just felt like it was smart to keep that set running together and if Tim needs to borrow a microphone on an adventure uh he can out of that set uh, I need to get the other dead cats figure a way to have them with me although honestly I didn't have dead cat on the action five Saturday and under my shirt it was it was breezy it worked just fine Yeah, I didn't take the path. I literally cut behind the ball field when I did this the other day through the middle here. What are you doing? Leave them alone. Come on. What are you doing? There's the ears. There's the puppy ears. Yeah, it looks like I hit these two at peak. Because oh, they are both very, very lax of leaves now. But that one down there is the one that I was shooting with the iPhone. Come on, Priya. Mm, yeah, happy go lucky puppy. And he's flying. It's cool. Gotta do something for a new outro for this. Because I still run Niagara Falls and the fireworks. It's like halfway through the year. This one is so beautiful. Green on the back side and changing on the sun side. Actually, I have to back up a little bit. This tree is so massive. So vibrant. Going to get some pictures. Probably right around this area. That is gorgeous.
No, I mean, here's what it looks like on the back so with, with it on the phone. Kind of showed it at the house, but um, grip-wise, I, I feel like, yeah, I mean, it's not a lot there. Now, obviously, I'm in, right now I'm in the native app, so it's not going to zoom. So it looks like I only can shoot 48 megapixel, though, in, um, oh, that's why it was so wide. It's not zooming. Zoom is not available in Pro Raw. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's see if the shutter button works now, though. It actually was clicking. Ooh, okay, so that's 48 megapixel. Come here, guys. Come here. So it was an ultra. Hold on. That's going to have to be a dedicated video, just me playing with that because there's so many things. You got to be in manual mode, though, to get your pro raw. It's a pole that grew legs or tr leaves. Wow. It's a pole that grew leaves. <laughs> Try that again. Of course, the sun's on the wrong side of me here. Get around here. It's got a little bit of color to it. I don't know what kind of tree that is. Guess we can always take a photo of it and find out. Now that's kind of hilarious. It is a sweet gum tree. Uh, I dig it for. He's always talking about gum trees when he's mulching. And there's three of them. There's another one there. And there's one in front of us here. <clears throat> I never knew they grew vertical. Okay, we got a bike coming, guys. Got to get over. Get the tree from a long distance away. It's pretty. You know, <clears throat> so all these trees, they have like a, a stone, memorial stone. And honestly, I really felt like they would probably give my friend one because he had a lot to do with the South Wings for baseball team, umpiring and whatnot. Um, but I don't see a spot that they could actually give him one over here by the field. Do you think that's what they'd want to do? Is have a tree right next to the baseball field. Uh, guess we shall wait and see if they do it or not. And we got a dog. Nope, he's on leash. Okay. Yeah, puppy's on a leash like you guys are. He's a tough, he's a strong dog too. He's dragging those girls. Yeah, I actually ran into the wife of another classmate. Both of them were actually classmates, husband and wife. I ran into him right after he had passed away. That he didn't know anything and they still don't know anything of what was the cause of him passing. So we're all figuring health related. I mean, he was, uh, he was quite a big boy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard on the body. Huh. These two trees right here normally are a couple that go colorful for me. But I am going to head over to the one that I did get pictures of last time. Of course, on this side, I can see it, but the sun is really probably blinding the lens. There's no people here this time. There were kids playing last time. I felt really weird taking photos. All right. Kind of got hidden by another tree. So you can get to see this side because it is bright orange. It looks really neat. Squirrel. I think Priya saw a squirrel too. She started pulling that way. Ugh, trying to aim it up. Yeah, it's a lot more orange on this side now. I still find it odd that it's orange on the side of the sun and more green on the shady side. You think the shady side, because it doesn't get the sun, would be the one to change. Definitely gonna have to wait until I get home because on the screen when I'm taking the photo, I can play with the, the ISO and I can also play with the shoot. <laughs> See, now it's not coming up. Oh, there it is. Um, shutter. The ISO in the shutter, and I have the shutter at 1, 6, 1 over 4,831. And it looks really, really vibrant. Someone lost a frisbee. Play frisbee, guys. Ooh, how far that's going to go? <laughs> and right there is another classmate. Well, she was a grade, grade or two below me. So, sad. I kind of wonder, I really do, on how many classmates from our graduating class actually have passed away. Because this is honestly, I think, the only one I know about. Like I said, she was a couple grades behind me. I'm pretty sure that was cancer. From what I could find, it was really, really, 
It's sometimes it's really hard to find a reason of why someone passed away. Sometimes they'll say it. And then if it was 2020 through 2023, it was COVID, even though, you know, they were killed in an automobile accident. <laughs> oh, they developed COVID from the accident. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm so sick and tired of even that being, that word being said anymore. Yeah. Mateo, do you want to like, maybe march in front of me, please? He goes, can we get off these stones? Yeah, the, he doesn't like walking on that. Here's some substances he just doesn't, surfaces he just doesn't like. Substances. Are you on substances, little man? Because I'm on hemp, buddy. Yeah, the grove is pretty much, it's either green or bare. There's no in between through here. It's really weird. I don't know what that was all about. And I think they're not working on the place today. Is it a holiday today? I don't think it is. There's a little dog coming up on the other path. Yeah, just weird. I am going to get that vine again, though. I saw that on the way in. I want to grab that again. Holy field of squirrels. Got one there. You got one over by the tree. You got one right there. <laughs> of course, this wide angle lunge, you probably see all three at once. What are you doing? It's like I'm waiting for that dog to chase me. I'm not moving my tail. <laughs> yeah, he did not walk off the beaten path to get this last time. I just filmed it from afar. And with the pocket, so. This one. Another squirrel. <laughs> They're all over the place. Okay. Those ones down there. Are they? Yeah, they change every year. And I do kind of remember them going. There's an orange one over that way. Of course, probably blocked by that other tree. That isn't changing color. Mr. Sun, you're bright. Very, very, very bright. This one's got a little yellow. We're almost to the really colorful ones. Get this monstrosity over here. Hi, baby. You're a beauty puppy, aren't you? And you are. If I was a betting man, that is an Akita Husky mix. A beautiful dog. Got the bushy tail, <laughs> which I guess huskies can have, but it has it has the Akita look in it too. I'm kind of surprised they're not working over here today. I got another doggy coming. We'll get up more on that when we come back through. Ooh, it's even pretty from this side now. Even pretty from this side. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, I should have gotten pictures. Way back, I'll try to turn around. Do it all at once. Now this one's getting kind of blown out because where the sun's right through my lens. Uh, all right, there's that one there. And that one there from the front. All right, oh, they did repave this where they ran the, oh, okay, they put lighting over there. I got it. That way the townspeople don't get mugged when they're coming out for their corrupt activities. <laughs> oh boy. All right, got a dumpster, let's go up. What do you need an action handle for? Shots. That's why. If anybody questions it, just ask him. Cause I mean, everything I've told him, he's uh, pretty much buying <laughs> after the fact. They're getting pretty darn far. I think by the next time we come over, they might have this uh, done. And unfortunately the tree that was yellow, that was right in here, they cut it down. They cut the damn thing down. I'm glad I got it when I did. 
don't know if I have, I'll have to see if I find a photo of it and insert it here. That's really sad. All right, that is the park. Go get gas, then come back around. Me, we'll see what time it is. Bob roll over her face. You got slobber on your face, dog. <laughs> I'm not even fully extended yet. I can go out just a little bit more. Get right up on a basset hound. It is crazy the wide angle though. Do you do do? <laughs> I think yeah, that one there, I think I got the last time. This one here was completely green, so now it's gone yellow. Uh, um, yeah, I think we're going to do that one for sure. I might as well, from this angle right here, the sun's hitting it right. All right, well, you fell off the dash um, earlier. And so now you're on the windshield, and I've had it hanging there since we went to Burger King. So, got a hair on my back. Huh. Oh, so we'll see how, how it holds up. I don't, I want to do a little bit of a dry video to see how it reduces. So, maybe a little time lapse for my own, but all right, we'll keep it in the video. Oh, yeah. All right, I don't think I've ever really filmed downtown Waynesport, so. I am at the farthest point I can get of this two-lane street, and we're just gonna... Sun's not in the best spot for us, of course, and the windshield's not clean, but enjoy. It's like, basically, downtown Williamsport. This intersection right here is where I was standing for the uh, New Year's Eve ball drop when they did the baseball. I wish they'd bring that back. I always like going. Last time we didn't, Shane and I went, when the first time we ever met in person. And uh, they canceled it because of the cold. It's New Year's Eve. It's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be too drunk to feel it. <laughs> Shane was. <laughs> I used to be my stepbrother's place. It was Rhodes Collar, now it's, I don't believe it is, a garage. It's a little bit too many elements. Historic Bowman Field, or whatever they call it now. Journey Bank State Park, or Journey Bank Ballpark. I've seen a couple games there with Sherry. Terry and I went, got rained out. <laughs> Drone flight. Priyant Mateo and I took that pathway, and we took that pathway the day. That